Yeah, what's go YT? It's your boy T Flash, aka Mr. 242, coming to you guys with another source. Bye, 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 bye. in today's video, bro. I'll have you guys with an advanced dribble tutorial. I will also be showing you guys the fastest, best moves in NBA 2K20. You feel me, bro? And as y'all can see, look at the screen right now. Look at how I'm dribbling, bro. I'm gonna teach y'all how to dribble just like this. Watch all my previous tutorials if you are a beginner, bro. Click the I right now. I have a beginner's dribble tutorial you guys can check that out bro please watch the whole thing learn it do everything then come back to this one i'm finna get you guys right i got a lot of tutorials so you can check those out as well please like comment and subscribe post notifications on and these are the drill moves you will need now with certain moves i'm gonna be teaching you guys you may have to change your spin for basic one so make sure you have that basic one spin but this is basically my signature styles right here I right, guys, for our first move, you're going to need to change your moving cross over to Pro 2 and your spin to Basic 1. Now, let's get right into the tutorial. Gang! Nigga, boom, got a whole lot of gang shit, nigga! <laughs> Hey guys, now this move, I yo, I, Bronny was. If you watch my dribble tutorial with Bronny James, and y'all already know this move, y'all already know how effective this is. But I'm gonna show you guys the move in the controller cam, and then I'm gonna explain how to do it. Alright, guys, now you saw me just now. I did the double between the legs into a backspin you feel me and that backspin is od if you're using the basic one spin i don't like sacrificing my spin for just that so i'm not really a fan of it but it's a very effective move that catches a lot of people off guard bro not too many people <laughs> expect you to do this you feel me so what you guys want to do is you want to hold turbo and move the left stick forward and then whichever hand the ball is in let's say the ball is in my right hand you want to flick the right stick diagonally down left and then you want to flick it diagonally down right you feel me and you're gonna do this animation right here you can spam that all day um and right after you do that whichever hand the ball in i got let's say i start off with the ball in my right hand once i do the double between the legs move the ball will be in my right hand again so what i'm going to do is while holding turbo i'm going to rotate my right stick from five o'clock going diagonally down to eight o'clock you feel me you can look at the hand cam to make sure what I'm saying is accurate. That's what I'm going to do right now. And when I do the backspin, I'm going to be holding the left stick down so I can go back to the three-point line. Then I'm going to flick the right stick down so your player can like do a behind-the-back move and you can just shoot off of it. This move is very effective. As I said before, you just have to practice it. Look at that right there. Bow! You already know, bro. If he's lacking, I'm definitely strapping. And not too many people can guard that, you feel me? But let's get right into the next move. Let's go! Alright guys, for this move, y'all gonna still need the same sig, so just keep them on and let me show you it and then I'm gonna explain how to do the move. Hey, y'all see it, bro. Y'all see how effective that move is and how it would be, bro. So basically, you guys want to know how to do a size up escape. And do a size up escape while holding turbo, flick the right stick down. You're going to do that right there, okay? So the ball is in my right hand. You feel me? Then you want to do a half spin, a quarter half spin, right? So the ball, so you want to rotate your right stick from about 4 o'clock going counterclockwise to like 12 o'clock. You feel me? You're going to get that half spin animation right there. Once you get that half spin animation, since the ball is in my right hand, you want to flick the right stick diagonally down left. You want to do a double between the legs move like I just taught you guys. You feel me? The move prior, you want to just do that. That's all, bro. That's basically all you got to do. And it's mad easy. Bro, look at me. Who's who, who's who's guarding me? <laughs> who's guarding me? Nobody. Why are you gay? You feel me? So that's that's move speaks for itself and if you guys want to see the effectiveness you guys can check out my brawny james video and see what brawny was doing to tysino miles brown doing them dirty smack tysino all over the court took that man's vc and his hard-earned money bro how disrespectful <laughs> you guys can also do the double crossover with this move you don't just have to do uh what i did just now you can make your own variation of it like this right here easy bucket it's that simple, you feel me? You can either run it for the dunk or you can, depending on how your opponent's playing, you know what to do. Alright, so let's get into the next move. Alright guys, for the rest of the moves, you want to change your crossover to normal 3 and you need to change your spin back to pro 4 and let's get it. Ah! 
Alright guys, now next bro, now we gonna get into like the sauce, you feel me? Like we gonna get into the fuego. You what? So hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you made it this far into the video. Alright guys, now you saw that move right there, very simple move, I do this a lot bro. <laughs> you feel me? I had to start switching it up a little bit, but I do that move a lot. So basically, you guys should know how to do a momentum, bro. If the ball is in your left hand, just hold turbo, flick the right stick dangly upright, and move the left stick in the same direction. You feel me? That's how to do a momentum. Now, when you guys do a momentum, say the ball, I start with the ball in my left hand. Once I have momentum, I'm going to flick the right stick dangly down left, and then flick the right stick down and do this move right here. Alright? Now, once I do that move right there, I'm going to momentum again. And then I'm going to do a momentum roll. You feel me? Okay, guys. And to do a momentum roll. So, once you momentum, bro, this move is all about timing, stuff like that. That's basically what it, a lot of moves are about. It's about timing and angles. So, what you guys are going to want to do is once you momentum, you feel me? I'm going to screenshot it right here so you guys can know what I'm talking about. But once your player gets to this position right here, since I'm going to the right, you want to rotate your left stick from three o'clock going to like seven o'clock you feel me downwards at seven o'clock bro like it look like this that's what happens when you have bad time you feel me i have bad time right there but it should look like this you feel me that's the move right there now what you guys can do is once you get that animation just flip the right stick down you can speed boost off it do my favorite move Bow. You all right guys but let's get into the next move of the video we almost to the end you feel me so hit that like button subscribe Alright guys, you saw the move right there. Alright, bro. Now, if you don't know, to do a moonwalk, if the ball is in my left hand while holding turbo, you want to flick the right stick. This is how I do my moonwalk. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this is how I do mine. Um, while flick the right stick to the opposite ball hand, you're gonna get this animation right there. Now, once you get that animation, you wanna like be holding the left stick dangly down in the direction the ball hand was previously in. So I'm gonna be holding the left stick dangly down left and I'm gonna get the animation right there. Alright? Now once I get that animation, I'm going to roll my left stick that until it's dangly up left, bro. And you wanna do that fast. Look at the hand cam, you see how, how I'm doing it, you feel me? Alright guys, and then you wanna throw in the between the legs move. Now the between the legs move varies, bro. Cause some between the legs, bro, so you get different animations for like the spin, you feel me? So right here, my player turned all the way around. And I'll get another animation right here with my player. Like, you feel me? He doesn't turn around. So be wary. The animation where he gets, like, he doesn't turn around, like that right there, you want to flick the right stick to the ball hand, bro, that the ball is previously in. All right? So if the ball's in my left hand right here, then I'm going to flick it dangly down left. Now, if I had done, like, the spinning one, like where I'm about to spin, like the turnaround one, then I'm going to do it to the right. I hope I'm not confusing you guys, bro, because, like, it's in my head it makes sense. Now, once I do the between the legs move, I'm just going to do a half spin. I taught you guys earlier in the tutorial how to do a half spin. So, just do a half spin and then flick the right stick down to do it behind the back, bro. Easy killer move. You feel me? Look how sexy that move is. And I just throw in the L2 size of escape for extra sauce. You feel me? Now, you can do that as well. That was a little extra. I wasn't supposed to tell you that. You feel me? I wasn't supposed to tell you all that. But let's get into the last move of the tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You still here, bro? You still rocking with me for the last move of the tutorial? This may be one of the hardest. I ain't gonna lie, but it's not that hard to be honest. Bow, and that's the move right there. Now, once I do the between the legs, you guys can choose what you want to do. You can either do half spin behind the back like I did this now, or you can just do a half spin and then do a double crossover. But to do a double crossover, it's just like flick the right stick left to right. You feel me? Or right to left. Like, you feel me? Opposite ball hand, and then back to the ball hand. You not, you guys should not do a crossover. What the fuck? Alright guys, now to do the moonwalk into a backspin. First of all, you want to get the moonwalk animation like this one right here. Now to do that, bro, I ain't gonna lie, it's hard to explain, so just look at my 
controller cam, bro. Dumbass motherfucker. Now, all you gotta do is add in the backspin, and you need to get the moonwalk move that does it like that. Alright, look at my controller cam, bro, because I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's kind of hard to explain right there. Alright, guys, so whichever hand the ball is in, that depends on how you rotate your right stick, alright? And you wanna do this move, like, you wanna do this, in, like, quick, you feel me? If you wait too long, you get a bum animation. So, what you guys want to do is, after you do the initial moonwalk move, all you wanna do is, if the, you start with the ball in your left hand, while holding turbo, you wanna rotate your right stick from 5 going to 1 o'clock, bro, counterclockwise. You feel me? You wanna do that. And you're gonna get that animation right there. Now if it's in your right hand, you wanna rotate your right stick from about seven o'clock going to like to eleven o'clock. You feel me? You wanna do it clockwise. It's that simple guys. You just have to like get used to the animations, get used to the time and all that. Once you could do that, you're Gucci one step closer. Now, what you guys want to do is, then you want to do a between the legs move. And once you do the between the legs move, just do a half spin behind the back. As I taught you guys, bro. And that's basically the move right there. That's all you guys got to do, bro. But that's the end of the tutorial, bro. Thank God. Oh, my gosh. Bro, y'all got to come to me for the next tutorial. I'll see what I'm doing right now. Hey, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that. Share the video, everything, bro. Thank you guys for watching the video. TGTGSA COG242. Yo. Oh my God. S-A-T-G. Gang. 30